What's up, YouTube? This is Thomas from Thomas Invest, and thank you for watching. Today, I want to talk about Microsoft. Yesterday, they presented the quarterly results, and the outcome was a bit surprising for me. In this video, I will show you what happened and what I expect to happen in the coming weeks or months. So stay tuned until the end. Remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a video. I also appreciate an early thumbs up, which helps me within the YouTube algorithm. For now, let's dive into it. So, on the 27th of April, Microsoft announced the quarterly results after hours. Immediately after presenting the results, the stock dropped about 4%. Microsoft earnings were quite good in my opinion, as we can see here. Revenue was 41.7 billion and increased 19%. Operating income was 17 billion and increased 31%. Net income was 50.5 billion and increased 44%. This means $2.03 a share. Analysts predicted 1.78 a share. But investors expected more. In this chart, we see the results versus last year's same quarter. As we can see, the net income made a huge jump, climbing 44%, while the revenue is only up 90%. As I said before, earnings per share were $2.03 this quarter. A year ago, it was 1.4. Microsoft has made some business highlights, which I want to show you. First off is Office commercial products and cloud services. Revenue increased 14%. Microsoft 365 consumer subscribers increased to 50.2 million. Dynamic products and cloud service revenue increased 26%. Revenue in the intelligent cloud was 15.5 billion and increased 23%. Server products and cloud servers increased 26%. Driven by Azure, which grew about 50%. Revenue in personal computing increased 19%. Xbox content and services increased 34%. Search advertising increased 70%. In this chart we do see all the product segments and the change year on year. So maybe investors expected more, but in my opinion Microsoft had some big revenue growth and the net income has increased even more. Even non-GAAP Microsoft still sits at 1.95 a share, where 1.78 was expected from the analysts. It has to be said that Microsoft beats revenue for nine times straight in a row, as we can see in this chart. So, my conclusion is, don't worry about the street to 4% dip. Revenue and net income were great, and Microsoft showed some steady growth per segment. Personally, I think the stock price would go up in the coming months, because investors will see Microsoft as a solid investment. Besides, Microsoft made some nice acquisitions and is planning to do some more, which all contribute to the revenue growth. The last thing I want to add is that I expect some big growth for the Xbox in the coming months. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.